Well, tonight I'm going to attempt to make uh, duck calls. Don't have a clue. If you order from Penn State, they give you some good instructions. Uh, but they also give you instructions on how to make the bushings. So don't buy them. Get a good piece of hardware to make your own bushings with their instructions. I did that. Okay. Was there a kid? Yeah. Um, I never have either. Andrew conned me into this, so we're going to make duck calls tonight. I don't even hunt ducks. <laughs> so, uh, to start off with, you're going to need a piece that's, oh, what do we say here? One and a half, one and a half by one and a half by four. So I rounded it over like that. They want you to do a um, five-eighths inch hole all the way through. What kind of wood is that? This is mesquite. So there's no requirement. You can make it out of whatever you want like that. They had, don't we have some pictures? I thought we had some pictures of duck calls. Okay. Okay. This lathe is totally backwards from what I've got. What size bit are you using? Part? What size bit? This is a 5 8 spade bit. Craft Supply also makes a, uh, a drill bit that is a number two Morris taper. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, dummy. Uh, that works real well. Yeah, oh, Gordon, safety. Uh, that works real well, but it's also, <laughs> it's big. It thinks about that long. So it's, I just want to see how far I've gotten. Are you going all the way through? Yeah, you go all the way through with it. Close, but no cigar. That's what I'm find out. <laughs> Well, it does, but I think I would just be safe. It's not my chuck. <laughs> and I don't think they, Paul makes these anymore, does he? Nope. Yeah. Oh, I'm so far off center, it's scary. I have way off center on this thing. Yep. Yeah. That's one of the benefits of that, that uh, drill bit by uh, uh, Craft Supply. It's long enough to wear it going all the way through.
bad this one. This is mesquite. And the <laughs> Yeah, me. <laughs> like I say I I don't hunt hunt ducks, can't afford to. <laughs> These are the bushes that I made. They're bigger than what comes in the kit. I'll pass these around. The only reason uh, I didn't use theirs, or I made a made a bit, I made mine bigger, because with these they go right, they don't fit up against the chuck. They they recommend you put uh, some bushings in there, spacers. Uh, I made mine because I don't like my getting my fingers and hand next to the chuck. Yes, uh, they're they're sized. Uh, if you look at the plans, they're uh, one inch in diameter by three quarters this way by three eighths. Uh, so if you look at the ones that are there, uh, those are the ones that the factory made. We are waiting for the kits to get here, so. I went online, got a copy of the plans. It showed the bushings. So what the heck? You know, I made my own bushings just to practice with it. Know what the hat's for to keep the wood chips out of my hair, keep the sweat out of my eyes.
the design is really up to how you want it. The only thing you really need to do is put a little groove in here for a lanyard uh, so they can hang it around their neck. stuff is really dusty and also very pithy too. I put some CA on it to try to stabilize it when I first started working on them a couple weeks ago. And I missed some spots. That's tearing out real bad. They don't take very long to put together. Yes. <coughs> Is it? You can also get uh, calls for deer, turkeys, uh, like that. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, PSI carries them. <coughs> oh, how stupid. Uh, coughed and got other, but dust in my eyes. This uh, finish is OB Shine Juice. Very easy to make. Is Captain Eddie's. Uh, he's not allowed to drive anymore. Uh, the last storm that hit Homa it wiped out his shop. So now he's taking over a spare bedroom in the house. Uh, every Wednesday night, go on to uh, www.worldwidewoodturners.org and the whole thing is right there. You go over to a little white button it says click for the meeting. It starts about 6.30. It runs till about 9. Uh, there's roughly 100 people that attend worldwide in it. Uh, so it, it's more of a chat session. They're having a couple guys do some demos. A lot of neat information. This is a uh, third plain uh, clear shellac, or three ounces, three ounces of uh, oil, linseed oil, and three ounces of DNA, denatured alcohol. And you can put on as many coats as you want. You can start off with this stuff, put as many coat as you want. Then if you want to put a, a shiny coat on it, because this, this stuff will come out a satin color. If you leave it in a squeeze bottle, after a while it separates, just shake it up. I really think the shape is whatever you want. Just as long as you have a that groove in there to for the uh, lanyard. Ah, okay.
what I'm doing here is putting on the a little sealant ring. Ah, there we go. To lock it into place. There's a little groove right here. The hardest part I've had playing with this the other day, it comes in with two reeds. One will go here on the bottom. As a matter of fact, they both do. And this is where you need a couple hands. This little block, it's a little piece of plastic. Supposed to go in into here. Get a little persuasion going here. Just in case, does anybody have a number for 911? For the life of me, I can't get it in there. What are you doing? <laughs> I am trying to put, there's a little piece of, it's a wedge. Uh, it's a little plastic wedge in and here. There's a little wedge right here. That's supposed to slide into here. If you can see the little wedge right there, and it's got to go into a little groove right there. Might be able to put that down. My wife wouldn't appreciate that. I'm gonna try with this one with just one reed. Success. Ta da. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You will not be seeing this demo at SWAT. Is there anybody from Louisiana or East Texas? <laughs> well, guys? Do what? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Me and Daffy Duck. That's right. See, I... I told you I've never hunted ducks before. <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't say that, but maybe they expect duck hunters are going to buy this, you know? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Questions? So what kind of duck is that for? I don't know. Magnum duck call. That's all it says. Oh. PSI doesn't give you too many descriptions. So. I believe it said drake online, but I don't remember. That's just a male duck, right? A drake? Is that a male or female drake? Drake is a male. Any other questions about anything that we can help you with tonight? 
That's going to be given away. I've also got another kit up here with a piece of wood. I've got some uh, blanks if you make your own uh, bushings. That was a five-inch spade they used? Five-eighths, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of spade bits, but this worked out pretty good. Uh, when I put them in my drill press or my hand drill, they seem to wobble everywhere. Uh, I tried using that big bit by Craft Supply. It worked out pretty good, but it's just a lot of vibration in it because it was so big, I think. So this, this worked out pretty good. Like I said, the, the wood I used tonight is kind of pithy. So, all right, be that way. You don't find a good piece of wood, but anything. I've seen pictures of them with... Uh, Oh, what's that wood with the, the different colored stripes? No, there's the plywood. Carter uses a lot of that. Spectra ply, that's it. All right, it doesn't want to give up my saver. Uh, but whatever wood you want to use, I'm glad somebody mentioned to turn it around. <laughs> my wife will appreciate that. She always telling me not to, you know, to read the instructions better. <laughs>